How does Adobe After Effects stand to cartoon animator? In today's video, we'll try to go over both softwares and what they offer to see which might suit you best. If we ever talk 2D character animation and rigging, then that is when Cartoon Animator shines. This animation software is tailored specifically to that need, allowing you to bring your models to life with ease. Right away, you'll notice that Cartoon Animator doesn't require too much headbanging around to get used to, if you're already familiar with animation tools. And that's despite it being quite the packed one. The basic layout will welcome you with a viewport to assess your final scene, a timeline to manage the frames, and a content manager where you'll find your different assets including some free ones. But it's only now that the real tinkering begins. See, Cartoon Animator comes with a plethora of interesting features to play around with. The auto lip syncing option can interpret audio directly to generate mouth and facial movements for your model, while the motion capture one can track your whole body in real time to do the same. And for some added oomph, if you will, Options like freeform deformation and spring dynamics can be used to exaggerate and apply some weight to your character movements. Not to forget that it allows for importing vector graphics to the scenes, which will give you total control over every part of your puppet without losing on the image or animation quality. And this is still considered barely scratching the surface of what the software can actually do. But it's important to note that these fun features come with a price, as a cartoon animator can be acquired through a one-time purchase of $150 which lists it on the expensive end of animation softwares. Not to mention that getting the special mock-up bundle with it will require adding $100 more. Yet if anything, Cartoon Animator proves itself to be a solid and fully equipped software that caters to all the masses, and it seems like it's only getting better with each new update. On the other end of the room, we have After Effects, which is considered to be an industry standard for compositing and creating visual effects. It does take part of the Adobe Creative Pack like all Adobe softwares and will require some looking into their specifications to choose the right plan. Out of the box, it comes as no surprise that After Effects can seem different from your typical animation software, and that is due to how much versatile it is. Its interface is fully customizable, allowing you to add, delete, and maneuver panels around how however you want, and the workflow is timeline based where each element has its own layer to be edited on. When getting into the subject of animation, After Effects offer a robust set of tools to make the task possible. It allows you to think in 3D space when making your 2D animation. Combine it with the ability to manipulate each element on its own to your liking and then you'll gain a nice sense of depth and parallax in your final product. It also comes with a variety of built-in visual effects that can be applied to your animations, making it great for post-production work as well as puppet tools and special effects for text that can be used to create stunning motion graphics, logo animations, and animating still images. After Effects can work perfectly for rotoscoping thanks to its great tracking capabilities of subjects. And overall, it can serve as an excellent tool for compositing scenes to add that final touch to them. Just like Cartoon Animator, this is barely scratching the surface of what After Effects can do and what it actually holds. And as it doesn't stop here, the community is up to help with plugins that you can install and add each with a specific task or effect in mind to apply alongside the built-in ones you'll get right away. It's easy to get lost in the hype when talking about all these interesting features and tools, yet it's important to shed light on how easy these softwares are to learn. And as it comes to no surprise, Cartoon Animator takes the piece of cake here. Or maybe it's not a surprise. Actually, Cartoon Animator works on having a beginner-friendly environment that will let you animate and create animations right away using the pre-built models and assets, while also offering the right amount of control for each option when needed if you want something more customizable for your liking or if you just want to experiment. But overall, the software is pretty easy to get down, and it won't even take long to understand and manage the big and scary concepts like bone rigging, physics, and all of that. After Effects, on the other hand, can be intimidating in its own right. Not to get the wrong impression, but again, if you are unfamiliar with editing or animation softwares, its interface alone can be quite the challenge to navigate, and with how broadly and widely it is used, understanding the right tools and their use can take a moment as well. 
but when fully grasped, only the sky will be the limit to what you can achieve using it. This of course goes without mentioning the pre-needed knowledge about 2D animation in the first place and its fundamentals. But as I always say, just like any other skill, and if given enough time to understand and master, neither software is impossibly hard to get used to. Coming into the pros and cons, I'd imagine that you'll know what we'll be covering now, so here's the rundown. Cartoon Animator is oriented towards 2D character animations with tools that will get the job done fast and easily and minimize the actual amount of work that needs to be done. Its intuitive design offers a smooth workflow that serves both beginners and professionals well, but it is quite limited when it comes to VFX, making it less versatile in that aspect. After Effects, however, excels in that and offers a broader range of effects to choose from, and with its compositing capabilities and puppetry tools, making visually appealing scenes becomes an ease. It's also thanks to these same options that making explainer videos and motion graphic snippets is possible. Yet by being broad, the 2D animation tools can seem quite simple and won't cater to more complex character animations for example. Not to mention the steeper learning curve you'll have to go through first, and the lack of actual drawing tools will push you to import work done in other specialized drawing softwares first. But that won't be quite the problem if you're already using Photoshop or Illustrator thanks to their higher compatibility with After Effects already. Moving into the bread and butter of this video, which of these two softwares is the best? Well. Cartoon Animator is specifically made for 2D character animations, is beginner friendly and ideal for real time animation, so naturally if that's what you're looking for then go for it. After Effects on the other hand is a versatile software, it allows for creating animations with different feels and can be used in post production to elevate those same animations, so if you feel like that might suit you best, feel free to choose it. But if you want my bread and butter, well first I'm not hungry, and second, Nothing can stop you from trying and experimenting if the decision is still unclear. So take your time and explore the tools there are or mix and match between them to achieve the goal you envision at the end. Well, it seems like it's the end of the video. If you have reached this part already, tell us whether you have tried one of these softwares and which you like best. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you want to see more content like this in the future. This was all it for today. Stay safe and see you next time.